Hi, the doctor's in. I'm Dr. LB, and I'm here to help you through your math difficulties. Today, we look at reflections, shrinking, and stretching graphs. The first thing we're going to look at is um, a reflection of the graph about the x-axis, and that occurs when you have y equals negative f of x. So this dotted graph here is the original um, f of x equals x squared. And if we do f of x equals negative x squared, we simply fold this dotted portion across the y-axis and we'll have the solid graph. We also have a reflection about the y-axis. That occurs if you have a negative x inside of the function. So here, this blue graph is the graph of the square root of x. If you have the square root of negative x, it's going to flip across the y-axis, and that becomes a reflection about the y-axis. So we can also vertically stretch and vertically shrink a graph. Let's see what that's about. If f of x is a function and c is a positive real number, then y equals a constant times the function. Here the constant is on the outside of the function. It's a vertical stretch if c is bigger than 1, and it's a vertical shrink if c is between 0 and 1. So in order to get the graphs of something that's vertically stretched or vertically shrunk, you need to multiply the y coordinates by whatever that c number is. So let's graph h of x equals 1 half x squared and g of x equals 2 x squared. And remember that we want to multiply each y coordinate by c. So let's start off with graphing um, just plain old x squared. 0, 0 is an important point, 2, 4 is a point on the graph, and negative 2, negative 4. So let's look at um, h of x. So if we look at the point 0, 0 here, um, multiplying the y coordinate uh, by 1 half still gives us 0, 0. If we look at our point 2, 4, multiplying here by the y coordinate, um, 1 half by the y coordinate gives us 2, comma, 2 and negative 2, comma, 2. So let's graph this in purple. So we have 2, comma, 2, negative 2, comma, 2. And that's the graph of h of x equals 1 half x squared. Let's look at g of x. It's 2x squared. Again, the point 0, 0 won't change because 0 times 2 is 0. Um, here, we would have the point 2, comma, 8 because 4 times 2 is 8 and negative 2, comma, 8. Let's do this one in red. So here, 0, 0 is an important point. We're going to go to um, 2, 8 and negative 2, 8. And this is the graph of g of x equals 2x squared. Let's look at our next example. Here we want to horizontally stretch and shrink. Remember the last one was a vertical stretch or and shrink. So um, if f of x is a function and c again is a positive number, then y equals f of cx. So now c is inside the function. It's a horizontal shrink if c is bigger than 1 and it's a horizontal stretch if c is between 0 and 1. So to get their graphs now, we're going to divide the x coordinates by c. So let's graph here. Remember that we divide each x coordinate by c. So again, we're looking at 
x squared. So I'm going to just draw x squared, and I'm going to use points um, negative 0, 0, 2, 4, and negative 2, 4. And so this is the graph of just plain old f of x equals x squared. So let's look at h of x. h of x is 1 half x and that quantity squared. So 0, 0 is on the graph and dividing by um, here 1 half is not going to do anything to affect 0, 0. Um, if we look at the point Two, four. Then we want to multiply the x coordinate by c. Here c is one half. So two, excuse me, you want to divide by one half. Two divided by one half is the same as two times two. So we have four, two, and we have negative four, two. So let's do this in purple. We have, um, 4, 2, and negative 4, 2. So this is our h of x is 1 half x quantity squared. Suppose we have our g of x. We have 2x quantity squared. Again, 0, 0 is not going to change. We look at our point 2, 4. If we divide by 2, we're going to have 1, 4 and negative 1, 4. So let's draw this in red. We still have our 0, 0. We have 1, 4 and negative 1, 4. So this is the graph of our g of x equals 2x squared. So remember that Dr. LB is always in. Please come back for more math help.